The tent city in Tel Aviv has become the headquarters for the people's national protest against stratospheric cost of living, poor public services, and one of the highest income gaps in the developed world. I'm uh, protesting uh, the cost of living in Israel. The, the, the sort of priorities that the government is using, uh, in my opinion, uh, that the government has been using for the last 30 years, every government from the left or uh, from the right. This, this is a revolution, I think, that we've come to an edge that we see that, that our life is so empty, that now we are looking for something new. The policy of the government is, um, is injustice. The government is not dealing with the important issues for the, for the people, for the simple people. Lidel visited the Roth Rothschild on Tisha B'Av. There was an interesting yet simple connection between camps brought together by the memory of the temple's destruction. People were looking for a new mutual respect in their common struggle for a just Israel. We believe that Tisha B'Av, the symbol of Tisha B'Av, is the separation that brought a separation between different groups in the Israeli society, in the Jewish society, in the days of the Second Temple. Uh, was the cause for the destruction of the temple and the destruction of the people of, of Israel, actually. And uh, we think that the way to uh, amend, it is, is, uh, amend it is by uh, bringing people together. And that's what we try to do here today. Tisha B'Av is about uh, Churban Abayt, the section of the, of, the, uh, of the home, whether it's the temple or, the na or our national home or our personal home. And uh, I think this is, right now, what, everything that happens in the last month is, is the people are coming together in, uh, in Ahavat Chinam, as opposed to Sinat Chinam, which, which brought down the, the second temple. Power to the people. This is the most wonderful thing which has happened in the States of Israel for many, many years. Every person has been in their own ghetto and taken care of their own group and fought for their own rights, and it didn't work. So those who sat and decided here, they said, we will give you a little, we'll give you a little, we'll give you a little. And in the meantime, the public responsibility for this country, for education, for health, has slowly but surely every year deteriorated. And suddenly you find here something which I can only call redemption. Something which has been hidden, by, apparently, because Otherwise, it's not that everybody changed their minds over the last month. They didn't think that anybody else wanted a state of solidarity, wanted a state where you talk about social justice and not just charity, where, where you talk about that the state has a responsibility for giving everybody a good education, not just the wealthy. And, 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 and you see here that the groups have said no to all kinds of nice offers they got from the government, very dignified offers, which half a year ago everybody would have dreamt about. But they said no because they understood that it's not going to work if we're not in this together. And that's what's so really moving. People care for each other. They are not worrying only for themselves. They want uh, the good for other people. It's wonderful that people here in Tel Aviv comes together and uh, get up and uh, start to yell these values, yes, and start this protest, yes, and, uh, and I respect them from that and I thank them for that and I want to join them. <laughs>